Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. This video is going to be just a quick tutorial on how to calculate the electronegativity difference and therefore find the polarity for uh, an atom. Mostly I'm just using this to test my new whiteboard and setup and everything else. So uh, if you finally were able to open topic 8.1, this was broken at first, uh, there was a little video lesson that was posted. This is Mr. Dorsch talking about it and going through all the notes, but I just wanted to give you a quick and dirty. Let's say you then got to this exit ticket and you wanted to be able to do... Um, you want to be able to do a problem where it says something like classify the bond below as polar or nonpolar, C and O. Uh, I want to be able to do that question. So the very first thing you need to do is look up the electronegativities for both of those two atoms. So I have uh, the electronegativity table here, which I can zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So carbon has an electronegativity of 2.5 and oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5. So I'm gonna switch over to this, the whiteboard. So uh, we got um, we got carbon here as making a bond to an oxygen. Um, we don't know the context. It could be other atoms in the molecule. We're not quite sure. Um, but we know that this has an electronegativity of 2.5, and this has an electronegativity of 3.5. Uh, so that's important because the electronegativity is the uh, strength of how much this atom wants to pull electrons towards itself. So 3.5 for oxygen, that's a, really, that's a pretty big number relative to 2.5. These numbers sort of range from like 0 to 4-ish. So 3.5 is pretty close to 4. That's a big number. So this is going to have a lot of electron density centered around it. It's going to pull those electrons closer towards it, which is going to give it a slightly negative charge. So we denote that slightly negative charge with a little delta symbol and a negative. And this carbon, because it's losing some of those electrons, it's going to get a little bit of a positive charge, which we call a delta positive. Um, so because there's sort of a tugging of electrons in this direction, we sometimes draw this little arrow symbol, which is called a dipole. Uh, and this dipole sort of signifies that there's a pulling, get a dipole pulling, uh, on the electrons, which pulls it closer to the oxygen. So we would say that this is a polar bond because this difference in electronegativity allows it to um, uh, indicates this kind of split up charge character. Uh, and so if I was going back to my problem, um, whatever question that was in the exit card, C and O, I would say that this is a polar bond because it's got a, the carbon and the oxygen have a difference in electronegativity. Now, if I have a different problem like uh, CH, I go back to my electronegativity table, and carbon has a 2.5, whereas hydrogen has a 2.1, so a little bit different. So if I go back to my whiteboard here, um, imagine instead that, uh, i got to erase this, here we go. Instead of oxygen here, just erase all this. Uh, we still have carbon, but the carbon is bonded instead to a hydrogen. So here's, uh, let's wait for the camera to focus. Nice. Hopefully you can still see this. So the carbon is bonded to a hydrogen. Hydrogen only has a 2.1 for its electronegativity difference. So even though the carbon is slightly more electronegative, you might expect a little bit uh, more electron density closer to the carbon. Um, the difference is not that big. So for our purposes, we pretend that these numbers are pretty much the same, and we say that this is a nonpolar bond. Uh, because there's no, uh, there's not a strong enough difference in the strength between them, so they share the electrons mostly evenly. Um, so if we go back to our question uh, right here, where we're asking the question, we would say that this is a nonpolar bond. Now, if I still needed to draw an arrow kind of pointing to which one was more electronegative, I could still do that. Um, you always draw the arrow pointing towards the more electronegative atom. So this arrow is pointing, it's showing the dipole between the carbon and the hydrogen. 
So that's the gist for finding the polarity of a molecular bond. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, see if you can get this quiz done by the end of this week, uh, as well as the following one.